The movie begins by showing Zhu Xingyu, a passionate young man who aspires to make it big in the music industry as a renowned singer. However, his ambitions are currently out of reach, and he's stuck in a dead-end job as a tuner for a rock band. Despite his circumstances, Sing Yu often daydreams about being a superstar and captivating a massive crowd of adoring fans with his musical talent. Meanwhile, Tian Sin, the hardworking assistant of the rock band, has aspirations of becoming an artist manager. Unfortunately, she's stuck in her current position where she frequently experiences mistreatment and harassment from the band's drummer. Sing Yu, witnessing the drummer's appalling behavior towards Tian Sin, becomes incensed and decides to teach him a lesson. In an act of revenge, he maliciously loosens the bolts on the drum cymbals, ensuring they'll come off with the slightest touch. During the concert, the plan goes exactly as Sing Yu intended, and the cymbal unexpectedly hurdles towards the drummer's face, leaving him humiliated and in pain. Following the drummer's public embarrassment, the band immediately terminated Sing Yu from his role as their tuner. However, Sing Yu was not too bothered by the dismissal since he hated the job anyway. Additionally, he had formed a close bond with Tian Sin, and the two went out for dinner together. Over dinner, Sing Yu and Tian Sin grew closer and opened up about their lifelong aspirations. They imagined a future where Sing Yu would achieve his dream of becoming a famous singer, and Tian Sin would be his number one fan and manager. As they chatted, their attraction to each other intensified, prompting them to start dating. Currently, Sing Yu finds himself unemployed and financially unstable. To improve his prospects, he decides to travel to the UK to further his education. While there, he plans to work part-time at his uncle's friend's restaurant to support himself. During a date in the park, Sing Yu confides in Tian Sin about his plans to leave for the UK, causing her to feel disheartened. Although they hadn't been together for long, he was already going away. In an attempt to comfort her, Sing Yu gives Tian Sin his cherished red bracelet as a reminder of him. In return, Tian Sin gives him her favorite pen, hoping it would inspire him to write beautiful songs. Before parting ways, they vow to meet again in the park if Sing Yu ever returns. Sadly, two years later, Tian Sin decides to end their relationship, stating that it had no future since Sing Yu had not secured a good job. Furthermore, Tian Sin reveals that she's now dating someone else who is more successful. However, this was only a pretext. In truth, Tian Sin wanted to free Sing Yu from their long-distance relationship so he could focus solely on his career. Also, the cost of making frequent international calls was draining his finances. Fast forward three years later, Sing Yu is now a successful and affluent singer-songwriter. His days are filled with music videos and commercials, and his good looks attract plenty of female attention, including his co-worker, Mei Li. However, Sing Yu has no romantic interest in her. Despite his popularity, Sing Yu has no desire to venture into acting, despite constant urging from his manager, Mei Jie. In fact, Mei Jie went so far as to accept an offer for Sing Yu to star in a teen romance movie without his consent, which understandably infuriated him. Sing Yu has no interest in acting and prefers to stick to his passion for music and pleasing his fans. As Tian Sin started her new job as an artist manager, she had no idea she'd be reunited with her ex-boyfriend Sing Yu on her very first day. However, her excitement quickly turned to disappointment when Sing Yu ignored her completely, still holding a grudge over their breakup five years ago. Things only got worse when Sing Yu got into a heated argument with Mei Jie, his current agent, over a movie role he didn't want to take. The disagreement escalated until Mei Jie quit, challenging Sing Yu to find a better agent than her. With a smug look on his face, Sing Yu scanned the room until his eyes landed on Tian Sin. Later that evening, Tian Sin was admiring her paintings when she received a message from Sing Yu. He wanted her to come to his apartment the next day at 9 a.m. She was excited to see him again, but her hopes were soon dashed when she realized that Sing Yu only wanted to show off his wealth. However, he insisted that he invited her to get to know him better. Although she was disappointed, Tian Sin decided to take a tour of Sing Yu's apartment to learn more about him. As his manager, it was essential to know everything about him, even though she didn't think he had changed much in the past five years. She also created a scoring system to evaluate Sing Yu's professionalism, ensuring that he presents a positive image to fans and the media. Tian Sin took her job seriously, directing Sing Yu's behavior and appearance during interviews, shielding him from overzealous fans, and accompanying him to recordings and photo shoots. Tian Sin's life had become incredibly busy since she took on Sing Yu as her client. With his packed schedule, she was constantly directing and managing his every move. However, despite her best efforts, Sing Yu still managed to act recklessly when dealing with fans and the media. Sing Yu was about to sign a contract with the company in front of a group of media reporters when disaster struck. He had lost his pen and refused to sign the contract without it, insisting that he needed a particular pen to sign official documents. This odd behavior left Tian Sin in a state of panic, and she apologized to the reporters while dragging Sing Yu backstage. She pleaded with him to sign the contract with another pen, but he was adamant that he needed his special pen. Tian Sin was exasperated by his strange behavior, unable to understand why he was so fixated on one particular writing utensil. As they argued, a stranger appeared and handed Sing Yu his missing pen. 
To Tian Sin's surprise, it was the same pen she had given him five years ago. Sing Yu had kept it all this time and had refused to sign without it, even though he had lost it earlier. The following day, Tian Sin found herself dining alone at a restaurant when she was approached by an old acquaintance, Chen Xuan, a chef. Chen Xuan had a clear affection for Tian Sin and even spoke about the possibility of marriage. However, he seemed concerned that Tian Sin might have developed feelings for her current co-worker, Sing Yu. Meanwhile, Mei Jie was on the lookout for a new singer to promote after Sing Yu's departure. It wasn't long before she stumbled upon Gao Ma, a promising artist who she was determined to make a star to rival Sing Yu's success. As fate would have it, the renowned music producer Song Ming was in search of fresh talent to collaborate with on a new album. Mei Jie was familiar with Song Ming and saw an opportunity to promote Gao Mang to him. Meanwhile, Sing Yu was also keen on working with Song Ming to advance his musical career. He urged Tian Sin to contact the producer, but all attempts to reach him failed. Even when Tian Sin personally went to Song Ming's office, she was turned away without a meeting. After several unsuccessful attempts, Tian Sin finally secured a meeting with Song Ming at his home. However, things quickly took a turn for the worse. Song Ming made it clear that he was unimpressed with Sing Yu, seeing him as a manufactured artist rather than a natural talent. He even tossed Sing Yu's lyrics into his swimming pool, treating them like worthless garbage. To add insult to injury, he instructed Tian Sin to retrieve the papers if she wanted Sing Yu to be considered. Despite her reservations, Tian Sin eventually jumped into the pool to retrieve the papers, even though she wasn't a strong swimmer. Sadly, her efforts were in vain as Song Ming remained unmoved and refused to collaborate with Sing Yu. Gao Mang's meteoric rise to fame continued to dominate the media, leaving Sing Yu feeling frustrated and unable to focus on his music. In an effort to inspire him, Tian Sin took Sing Yu out to a live music bar. After the band finished their set, they invited someone from the audience to perform with them. Without hesitation, Tian Sin dragged Sing Yu onto the stage, despite his initial reluctance. As Sing Yu sang and played the piano, the performance moved Tian Sin to tears, reminding her of the good times they shared when they were together. Little did they know that Song Ming was on the second floor of the bar, and was deeply impressed by Sing Yu's performance. He thought Sing Yu was incredibly talented, and was moved by his singing and piano skills. Tian Sin attended a friend's birthday party where alcohol flowed freely, and she ended up getting drunk. In her drunken state, she accidentally sent Sing Yu a love message, confessing that she still had feelings for him. The next day, Tian Sin regretted what she had done, realizing that it was a foolish mistake. When they met up, Sing Yu confronted her about the message. But before Tian Sin could explain herself, Sing Yu had to rush off to shoot his latest music video. The director's latest request left Tian Sin feeling uneasy. He had asked Sing Yu to sing while riding a hot air balloon, and she couldn't shake the feeling that something could go wrong. Unfortunately, her worst fears were realized when the rope holding the balloon suddenly became loose, causing the balloon to soar up into the air. Reacting quickly, Tian Sin grabbed onto the rope, hoping to prevent the balloon from flying away. But her efforts were in vain, and she was left clinging to the rope as the balloon continued to ascend. Sing Yu reached out and pulled her into the basket, saving her from a potentially dangerous situation. Tian Sin was filled with anxiety when she realized that they were stuck up in the hot air balloon with no way to get back down. Sing Yu, however, remained composed and assured her that they would eventually land once the balloon ran out of fuel. In the meantime, he suggested that they enjoy the stunning city view. As night fell, they landed in an unfamiliar location. But Sing Yu remained optimistic and urged Tian Sin to relax and take in the breathtaking starry sky. As they stargazed, Tian Sin finally opened up to Sing Yu about how much she had missed him and why she had ended their relationship three years prior. Sing Yu realized that he still had feelings for her and suggested that they reignite their romance. But Tian Sin was hesitant because of their professional relationship. She worried that their personal relationship would harm Sing Yu's career, given their roles as a singer and manager. Tian Sin was deep in thought as she contemplated Sing Yu's proposal to reignite their romance. During this time, she painted a vivid picture of them stargazing together, reminiscing about their magical night. However, Tian Sin's thoughts were interrupted when she suddenly fell ill. Sing Yu grew deeply concerned when he heard about her condition and decided to pay her a visit, to avoid being recognized by his fans on the way. He dressed up in his late mother's clothes as a disguise. Thankfully, he arrived at her apartment safely. But to his surprise, he found Chen Shuan already there, visiting Tian Sin. This unexpected encounter triggered Sing Yu's jealousy, and he vowed to get back at Tian Sin by making her feel jealous as well. Sing Yu went to great lengths to make Tian Sin jealous, even going so far as to seduce Mei Li while filming in front of her. However, Tian Sin saw through his plan and understood his intentions. Determined to get her revenge, she proposed to Sing Yu that they have a romantic dinner at his apartment. Sing Yu eagerly agreed, oblivious to Tian Sin's real plan. Little did he know that she was plotting to bring Chen Shuan along to make him jealous. When Sing Yu saw Tian Sin entering his apartment with Chen Shuan by her side, he was visibly upset. In a fit of retaliation, he decided to invite Mei Li to join them for dinner. 
While they were about to enjoy their dinner, Tian Sin's phone buzzed with a notification. It was producer Song Ming, informing her that he had chosen Sing Yu and her to collaborate on a new album. This exciting news instantly made Sing Yu and Tian Sin forget about their previous conflict. They hugged each other in delight, while Mei Li and Chen Shuan looked on, slightly confused by the sudden change in the atmosphere. A few days after the news of the collaboration between Song Ming and Sing Yu, Mei Jie was approached by a media person who showed her pictures of Gao Mang dating someone. Knowing that the pictures could ruin Gao Mang's career, the media person offered to keep them secret if Mei Jie gave them more juicy news. Unable to resist the offer, Mei Jie suggested that they stalk Sing Yu in hopes of finding something sensational to give the media person. Mei Jie's plan worked as Sing Yu confessed his love to Tian Sin while they were staying in a hotel outside the city. Even though Tian Sin initially rejected him, she eventually gave in and they started to make out with the window open. Little did they know, the media person was taking pictures of them from a building across the street. As the man prepared to release Sing Yu and Tian Sin's intimate photos to the public, the couple maintained their professional demeanor in public, not revealing their romantic relationship. However, Mei Jie had other plans. Despite her hatred towards Sing Yu, she couldn't let his career be ruined and therefore paid a significant amount to keep the pictures from being made public. After all, she was the one who had helped him achieve fame. But Mei Jie's true intentions were far from noble. She saw the pictures as an opportunity to break up Sing Yu and Tian Sin. The next day, Mei Jie summoned Tian Sin to her office and presented her with the scandalous photos of her and Sing Yu. Mei Jie then proceeded to remind Tian Sin of the strict no relationship policy between artists and their agents, leaving her with no choice but to quit the company and the entertainment industry altogether. Feeling devastated by the consequences of her actions, Tian Sin decided to cut ties with Sing Yu, believing that she was not good enough for him. Sing Yu, upon hearing of Tian Sin's resignation, went straight to her apartment, hoping to find her. However, all he found was her abandoned bracelet and a painting. Months later, Sing Yu released an album titled Missing You, which was nominated for a music award. Tian Sin attended the ceremony, but she had to watch from a distance as Sing Yu went up on stage to receive the award for the best album. However, Sing Yu surprised everyone when he used his acceptance speech as an opportunity to talk about Tian Sin. He revealed that the album was dedicated to her and professed his undying love, despite not knowing why she left him. He even invited her to meet him at the park where they used to spend time together, hoping for a chance to reconcile. Sing Yu and Tian Sin, who were formerly colleagues, crossed paths in the park and professed their love for each other. Although Tian Sin had concerns about the possible impact of their relationship on Sing Yu's career, he reassured her that their work affiliation was now in the past, and that their romantic bond wouldn't affect his professional life. Trusting his words, she vowed never to part ways with him again. The film concluded on a delightful note with the couple sharing a joyous kiss. This story gives a lesson that a true love will always find its way to you no matter what comes along the paths. If your love is true, just wait for it to find you.